Hi everyone, this is Hendra Lau from Elliot with Dashforecast.com. Welcome to the uh, educational video series. In this video, I'm going to talk about the zigzag. Zigzag is a three wave corrective structure. This is the basic structure of zigzag. We have A, B, and C, 1, 2, and 3. And zigzag is usually associated with the move that happens after the five wave impulsive moves. However, Zigzag can also happen within another corrective structure. For example, it can happen within the WXY corrective structure. Uh, WXY is another corrective structure that we are going to talk about in other videos. But the W leg, for example, can be in the zigzag. And the, the Y leg also can be in the zigzag. So zigzag does not always have to happen after five impulsive waves. Now in here we are going to talk uh, to look deeper in the zigzag structure. You can see the internal subdivision of the the first swing or the A leg is in five swings: one, two, three, four, five. Uh, this is um, these five swings or five waves needs to uh, meet the criteria on the rules of the impulsive waves, or it can also be in a diagonal. And then we ha we see a three wave uh, pullback from the wave B internally, and then another five wave subdivision in wave C, and this one again needs to uh, meet the the rules of the impulsive waves. And then in terms of the relationship between the swing, uh, the wave B here is usually around fifty to seventy six point four Fibonacci retracement of wave A. And then with the wave C here usually is at equal leg. So if you measure from the start of wave A and you project it from B, the start of the C leg here, then C should end around the equal leg area, which is 1 to 1.236 extension. So this wave A is equal to wave C. If you find out that the C is actually at 1.618 extension, or you see an extension here at the third swing, then you should start thinking that it could be an impulsive structure. Because the, on, the only difference between impulse and the zigzag is that in impulse you see uh, extension in the third swing. Because impulsive structure is also 5 in the width 1, and then 3 in the width 2, right? And then also another 5 width in width 3 and you can see an extension in the wave 3 and that's uh, the internal subdivision of the impulsive structure whereas in the zigzag it's also 535 but the third swing doesn't have extension it ends at equal leg and that's the way you know whether it's an impulse or it's a zigzag now let's take a look at an example here this is a 4 hour chart of the US dollar CAD we can see from the start here, I label it as zero, is an A, B, and C, right? Um, and then you can see the subdivision of A here. This is a diagonal. Uh, you can see one, two, three, four, five. And each wave here is a three wave move. W, X, Y, W, X, Y. So it's a three, 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 three. It's a diagonal, five waves. And you can see that the RSI here, I'll put the uh, cursor. So you can see at the third wave here, the, the RSI is at the highest. And then you can see when it ends the wave 5 of A, you can see that there's a divergence here, right? The, so the RSI makes a lower high, while the price makes a higher high. So that's the divergence. So we see a divergence here which uh, makes sense in a five wave structure. And then we can see a uh, retracement or B pullback and then we have the C leg here. So the C leg here is in an impulsive structure. It's a five wave structure. 
one two three four five we can see extension in with three so this uh, meets all the rules of the impulsive structure so with two doesn't go below the start of you know with one with three is the strongest one usually and it has an extension and then with four doesn't overlap with with one and then with five has a divergence so those are the the rules of the impulsive waves we can see the strongest momentum is also when it's at with three and then at with five here we see a divergence same as the other leg so both this and this leg uh really is uh is good is in five the in the internal subdivision is in five waves and it follows all the the rules and the requirements and then we can see that the relationship here is that uh with p here retrace around 50 fib to 76.4 fib if i measure it yes this one is uh 61.8 fibonacci retracement and then with C, the third swing is uh, should be at equal leg. So if I measure from the start here to A and project it from B, you can see here equal leg area 1 to 1.236 extension. And this one ends right around this area. So this is a good example of a zigzag structure and uh, i hope you enjoyed the video and i'll see you next time in another video series